This is a look at automatic hum reduction in Spectra Layers Pro 7. In this video, I'm going to show you the new automatic process, and then we'll review some other ways of dealing with hum using the classic Spectra Layers toolset. First of all, listen to this audio sample. And here's how it works. Go to the Process menu and select Hum Reduction. The dialog box appears. Clicking the Suggest button causes Spectra Layers to scan the audio for the hum frequency. Then finally, clicking the Preview button allows you to audition the default hum reduction process. It's possible to audition the hum in isolation. Simply select Reduce Signal, and then hit the Preview button again. Now you can hear as well as see the hum frequency that Spectra Layers Pro 7 has targeted for extraction. When you are ready to commit to the process, simply go back to Reduce Hum, click OK, the audio is processed, and the result is displayed in the spectral graph. Automatic hum reduction in Spectra Layers Pro 7 can cover more than one hum frequency at a time. In this case, when I click the Suggest button, Spectra Layers analyzes the audio and locates all three hum frequencies. If I select Reduce Signal and then click the Preview button, I can hear all three together in isolation. Going back to the Reduce Hum option and clicking OK engages the process, which concludes with a clean playback of the repaired sound. OK, one more time, just for comparison, this was the original sound. Here's another way to deal with hum and spectral layers. Listen to this use case with seven different hum frequencies. Now I'm focusing on the 4000 Hz hum band. I'm using the Frequency Range Selection tool to select it, and if I wish, I can use the Transform Selection tool to refine the edges of my selection until it looks exactly the way I want it to. Transform Selection is a new feature in Spectra Layers Pro 7. Let's take this frequency and cut it to a new layer. Now I can click the Solo button, and listen to it in Spectral Layers Pro 7, isolated from the source material. Back in the original source material layer, and with the Add to Selection option engaged, I can make non-contiguous selections. Here I'm selecting the other six hum bands and performing Edit, Cut Special, Cut to layer below, which places them into the same layer that contains the 4000 Hz hum band. Here I am soloing the hum layer. As you can see, the algorithm picked up a little bit of content that lies outside the boundaries of the target frequencies. This material can be selected and transferred back to the original layer easily using tools in Spectra Layers Pro. But for now, here is the result of our manual frequency selection process. And that just about wraps this presentation up. We took a look at the new automatic hum reduction process in Spectra Layers Pro 7. Then we took a step back and looked at the other more traditional way of dealing with hum in Spectra Layers Pro using its configurable tools. We are confident that you will find perfect combinations of global automatic processes and highly specific manual operations using the extensive and dynamic toolset available in Spectra Layers Pro 7.